Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Protoceratops figure. Now this is the first release. I believe these are the uh, Attack Pack line. Uh, so I'm not super up to date on all the Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line specifics. But uh, let's get into this figure. Protoceratops was a small ceratopsian dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous of Mongolia 83 to 70 million years ago. Okay, now let's get into this guy. Okay, looking at the head sculpt, we can see the very distinct green eye. And you can't even make it out on the camera, but there is a tiny grey pupil in each one. I'm not sure why they went for the colour scheme of light sky blue with uh, yellow highlights everywhere and then green eyes but it definitely makes it stand out uh, the detail on the the beak is very nice the weathering now there is a lot of shrink wrapping going on on this skull as you can see the frill is the correct shape i believe it would have been nice if we got some coloring on the actual frill rather than just all over the body but that's okay the shrink wrapping is very prevalent now, but that's typical of um, a lot of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World dinosaurs, so I won't fault them too much. In terms of articulation, neck, it can swivel all around, move it up and down. Very nice posability on the, the Mattel figures. When we get to the body, this uh, we see this yellow detail just kind of splashed on it almost makes it look like it's covered in lichens it's a very interesting color scheme like i said now the worst part of this figure by far are the legs not only are they really long the feet are completely inaccurate um the front feet should have five toes and only the three innermost toes should have claws on them here we've only got four and they've all got claws so that's wrong then the hind legs should have four, but they've got five, with the because we see the dew claws here, and only three of them would be, um, as in the ones that would actually be walked on, would have claws on them, and then the dew claws would be held off the ground, which we do see here. But they've added an extra toe, so if you swap the front legs, uh, front feet, and the back feet, uh, this would be a lot better, but unfortunately not so that's definitely the worst part of this figure in my opinion now the tail on this figure is very interesting as uh, protoceratops is believed to have had um, quite a few long quill like feathers on its tail but here we see them kind of made into this bony ridge which looks cool but i don't know what they were trying to do my best guess is that they they thought the spiny um the quill feathers would be too um, brittle, and so they'd have, to, and they'd probably break off. So they'd compromise by making this instead, which I understand, and I think it looks pretty cool. And if you really want, you can swivel the tail around. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but the option's there. The legs as well can be posed like this. Stop there. <laughs> and stretch the legs out. Maybe it's <laughs> jumping or something. I don't know. You can get in some really crazy poses, like uh, gymnastics with Protoceratops, as you all know. <laughs> that's for I think that's for the um, the app, which I haven't got, but I have no interest in getting it. So yeah, overall, I think this figure is very cool. It definitely stands out. Is it the best Protoceratops figure? Probably not, but. There's so few Protoceratops figures out there, so over, I'd say this one's pretty good. A lot of accuracy issues, but that's to be expected with Jurassic Park and World figures. So overall, I think it's pretty good. There's something about this one that I really like. And uh, that's all I have to say. So let's measure this guy up. So in terms of the length, looking at about... Let's say 16 centimeters, no 15 centimeters, and then in terms of the height, which is the top of the frill, 
seven centimeters exactly for this guy. So yeah, pretty small figure, but that just means it takes up less space on the shelf. And I'd say this one's worth getting. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.